Uh, there were rumors pointing to a release of Android 7, Nougat, or Nougat, today, and those rumors, at least this time, were true. Don't you love it when that works? Uh, the latest ma a major version of Android begins the process rolling out to many supported Google Nexus devices today. Users who are already enrolled in the dev preview, the developer preview, like myself, were able to immediately update this morning. Not all Nexus devices are eligible, though. Factory images and over-the-air updates are rolling out for the Nexus 5X, the 6P, the 6, the 9, the Player, and the Pixel C. So starting to get you know the official Nougat train uh, has left the building. Uh, still no <laughs> word on the next crop of Nexus devices. That's HTC Sailfish and Marlin in past the new version of Android has been kind of tied to those new devices releasing, so it's kind of a, a different year this time around. Mm -hmm. Well, Leo installed it right before iOS mm -hmm. today. It looked pretty. There was circles and <laughs> magic happening, and then he <laughs> got it and was very excited. Um, yeah, I mean, I guess uh, if you, what about your Samsung phone, your your Galaxy phone? Will, will that come anytime soon or? Don't know. I mean, I, I think at this point we don't really know of the manufacturers you know, what their update schedules are. We know that, you know, some of them are better at this than others. Yes, the Samsung Galaxy, I can pretty much say safely that yes, the Galaxy S7 line of Samsung devices will get the update. You just don't know when, you don't know if Samsung's gonna be on the ball. And that, that kind of goes for all, you know, all manufacturers. And that's just a, a big source of frustration for everyone, right? Is that, okay, great, Nougat exists and it's rolling out, but there's such a small percentage of people that have Nexus devices and everyone else, they're behind these barriers, these walls that prevent them from getting updates until the, both the carrier and the manufacturer kind of get their, their heads together and, and actually do the work to push it out. And that could take months, if at all, depending on what device you have. So there's some multitasking, take advantage of the big screen. I read uh, Ron Amadio's review on that and said, you know, he said it works okay. Mm -hmm. um, but, you know, sometimes he was just tasking on one side and there was a screenshot of the app on the other. Um, there was, there's new emoji, but not all the new emoji, like the promised new emoji where, you know, the, the female emojis aren't just doing their nails. They're also right. running and doing, you know, all sorts know, of surgery. jobs. <laughs> yeah. Jobs. I mean, underneath there, there's, there's a lot of actually really great features that it's easy to kind of not, not notice at first. One thing that's really cool is seamless automatic, uh, system updates, which, Chrome OS has a really great kind of update me methodology. You don't even know that an update has has basically downloaded and prepared itself. You just see this little icon down the bottom that says, "Oh, I you know, click to restart." And when you restart, that update is just folded in and you're not down any time. More or less, Android kind of has this baked in. So if you buy a device with Nougat um, pre-installed on it, you're going to see the benefit of that and your updates are going to be very seamless. you got the notification improvements, things like bundled notifications altogether, uh, things like uh, like power user controls over how you get notified on what, inline reply, um, battery tweaks with Doze, which you know, prior with, with Marshmallow Doze was really isolated to when you set your phone on a table and it's inactive, then it kind of ramps down how it manages uh, manages the system underneath. Now it's really, when your screen is off, it's doing a lot of those same improvements. Uh, and then of course VR baked into, into the OS, which I don't know what a big deal Daydream is going to be, but that's there. And like you said, multitasking, which is actually really cool. There's a really easy way to double tap the multitasking button and it'll switch between the two most previous apps that you've been using. So if you've, you know, got information in one app and you want to port it over to the other one, instead of having to kind of jump through hurdles, you just kind of double tap and jump right to it. I think you left out the most important part, which there's an Easter egg that <gasps> lets you give mm -hmm. treats to a virtual cat. Yeah, it takes a little bit of setting up. I played with it a little bit. So basically what it is, you have to, you know, you go through your standard. With, with Android, there's always an Easter egg. If you go into the settings and you go to the version number and then, you know, pulls up like the graphic in this case is the big N. And I think it's if you double tap it three times and then hold, then you get this little cat button down at the bottom or a cat notification down at the bottom. That activates cat, kitty or cat mode or something. You have to go into your <laughs> settings and actually add a quick setting in there, a little button for feeding or for putting out a dish of food for a cat. And then as you're using your phone, if you put out the right snack or the right treat for a cat, uh, eventually they, they come along and they eat the snack. And then it's like you've logged, it's almost like Pokemon. It's like you log 
that you got that particular cat and you can name it and it's silly, but it's there. <laughs> Virtual cats are great for us on Tech News Today because part of the requirement of uh, being a host of Tech News Today is that you are allergic to cats. That's and we yeah. are. That's why we got this job. So yeah. we like virtual cats. Uh, yeah, virtual cats don't make me sneeze, and to, for that, I'm very thankful. 